साइंटिफिक एंड इको फ्रेंडली मेथड ऑफ वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट द फर्स्ट स्टेप इन दिस वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट मेथड इज सेपरेशन एंड कैटेगराइजेशन ऑफ वेस्ट दिस इज अ प्राइमरी स्टेज इन वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट इन दिस मेथड ड्राई एंड वेट वेस्ट आर सेपरेटेड stored in separate containers and later collected for recycling reusing or composting depending upon the type of waste next step composting decomposing leftover food kitchen waste peels of vegetable waste and fruit garden waste in the backyard garden terrace or in a small pit is called as composting good quality of manure can be obtained by composting third method is decomposing solid waste with the help of earthworm is called vermi composting it is a rapid process of decomposition of solid waste and generally earthworm species like e foetida e euglish are used the quality of manure generated by this process is highly nutritious in nature and useful for garden plants or agriculture purposes next method secured landfilling secured landfilling is a scientific method of solid waste disposal in which the clay and plastic liners are used inside the landfill pits before the waste is dumped into it site of secured landfilling should be 2 km away from the water bodies and human settlements next method is pyrolysis in this method of solid waste management the waste is heated to a high temperature to obtain gas and electricity generally semi combustible waste is burnt in pyrolysis and is suitable for municipal solid waste management next is incineration domestic industrial biomedical waste e waste is burnt in an incinerator at high temperature disinfection and sterilization is done while treating the biomedical waste think about it some habits are described below do we have those habits if so how does it helps in waste management following the 3 r mantras that is reduce reducing the waste reuse reuse of the waste and recycle recycling of the waste second throwing plastic wrappers of chocolates ice creams biscuits etc into the dustbin avoiding littering next avoiding the use of plastic bags and instead using cloth bags or bags prepared from old sarees bed sheets curtains etc next using both sides of a paper for writing reusing greeting cards and gift wrappers avoiding the use of tissue paper and preferring to use one's own handkerchief then using rechargeable batteries instead of lead batteries then implementing various programs of solid waste management and educating encouraging the family and the society in this regard then avoiding use and throw type of articles like pens canned cold drinks tetra packs which should be strictly avoided seven principles of solid waste management the first principle is reuse after use materials should be reused for some other proper purpose for example newspapers can be reused second refusing the use of articles made from non degradable articles like plastic and thermocol third recycle production of used articles by recycling solid waste for example paper and glass can be recycled fourth principle rethink rethinking our habits 
activities and their consequences in connection with the use of various articles of daily use next principle reduce restricting the use of resources to avoid their wastage old materials should be reused one thing should be shared by many use and throw type of objects should be avoided research conducting research related to reuse of materials that are temporarily out of use regulation and public awareness following the laws and rules related to waste management and motivating others to do the same disaster disaster means a sudden accident or a natural catastrophe that causes great damage or loss of life disasters can be of two types natural and man made the natural disasters examples are thunderbolts floods fire etc man made disaster examples are accidents bomb explosions chemical accidents in industries stampedes riots etc thus disaster is a serious disruption occurring over a short or long period of time and it causes human material economic or environmental loss which exceeds the ability of the affected community or society to cope using its own resources so we have to understand disaster management disaster management is an action implemented through proper planning organized activity and coordination it includes the following steps first prevention of losses and danger second improving tolerance third providing relief from disaster minimizing the intensity and extent of harm fourth preparation to face the disaster fifth immediate action in the disaster situation sixth assessment of damages and intensity of the disaster seventh arranging for rescue work and help eighth rehabilitation and rebuilding